Hey guys, so just going to do a kind of quick painting video. Uh, so what I will be painting today is a Forge Wild Drotter Cannon. Let's see if we can get that to let us in. Forge Wild Drotter Cannon, okay. That's what we're painting today. This thing doesn't like to zoom. Uh, is this the right, so there it is. I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like this on the actual model. Here's the model that I'm doing it on. Another war bear. Uh, so yeah, what painting comment. So literally, what I've done so far is chaos black spray and then a coat of lead belcher so I'm going to uh, take brass scorpion and take my fine detail brush shake it uh, I'm not that uh, keen on the way that we made this paint, but uh, I'll have to use it anyway. So, really, what I'm just doing is I'm uh, going on to the cannon links which hold all the individual guns. together. Just taking my time here. Now it's quite easy with a step because if you make a mistake you don't have to go back and do all of what we need to do again. So that's the first two bits done there. Already a visible difference. So I'm going to paint this one slightly different from the other. Wherever I put them. I put them somewhere. Can't remember where I put them. Put them somewhere, I'll find them. Oh, is there? So I'm just going to paint this slightly differently from the other one, give some more sort of colour to the squad, even though they're, they are already red. And I'm painting painting the wrong gun. Uh, see this is what happens when you've not been painting in a while. So I'm just going to do the same again for the larger links at the back of the gun. Do the tricky part. And literally just do it like that. Now you can probably see uh, once I that there's already a visible big difference. But this is on my base coats. I haven't went and done highlighting yet, and I haven't went and done the rest of the model. But 
I'm getting now. Uh, do this wee bit up here. See, it's all about deciding where you're going to paint what colour. I've already done a wee bit of painting today. Uh, airbrush to tank with my friend's airbrush. I'm not that pleased with it, but it's another story. So just put them on your base coat. Now what I had done was I uh, painted the entire thing with Belcher and I actually think that that has made a vast difference and I've missed it. <laughs> trying to go into the wee small part here. to anyone. Uh, did I mess it up anymore? No. Right. Oh well that hasn't been painted. Uh, I should have really checked this before I started making this but I didn't annoyingly enough. So that's that bit. While that's drying, I've got Iron Breaker, Citadel Wear, Iron Breaker, uh, help. Iron Breaker, okay, so it's a wear, and literally, I will use this for highlights, because, uh, I'm going to do two layers of highlights, that isn't much proper. I'm going to do two layers of highlights, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give it a wash, uh, not an oil, and then I'm going to highlight it again. Now, so literally what I'm just doing is I'm going on top parts of the rotor can and highlighting it. Now you want to highlight the bit that will be in the light. You don't want to do what some people do and they just think, oh well, if I highlight the whole model, even the parts where light wouldn't hit, it doesn't work like that. So just doing this again, and then because of the way the model is, I'm going to do a very thin line on the bottom, and then that will be it. And then for the rest of the rotor can, I like it as normal, and then I'll give it a wash. Just taking my time here, because I don't currently have a commission in, so I, I'm painting up my own army. Want to get these war pairs done and sort, and then do some more heretics uh, for my renegade army, and then I can game them. But 
just as I said, I'm taking my time. Just making sure that's working. It's been 10 minutes so far. Wow. I'm um, just doing very fine lines. And this bit is more up. So I'll we'll highlight all that to give it that dynamic look. That's so, uh, For this side, I'm not going to do that much because I'll be the side on the marine. There's some tooling here, which is a little bit there. And then a very extreme highlight there. And so just taking the time and do that top wee bit and then just for the ah uh, fudge. Yeah, I say fudge, I don't know I swear no. So, uh, that is what the Rift to Canon looks like so far. I've got the screen on so it looks brighter than what it is. But I'm quite pleased with that so far. Just need to tidy the wee bit up. And so Sakurax Bronze, I'll put it in front of the camera, see if I can get some light. Uh, Sakurax Bronze, I'm going to shake it, shake it all about, and this is a nice colour, a really nice colour. And for all the bits that I painted uh, the other bronze brass scarf, uh, I'm just going to do very fine highlights. I'll show you what we do here. So for the parts that hold the gun together, you do we line of the light would hit it. Now obviously when we're looking at this uh, the you want to do the dynamic lighting which is why uh, for if you look here, if you look in there, you look in there, what I've done is because the way the light's hitting it, is I've done, I'm trying to do this where the, I've done the wee bit of metal in here, a lead belcher, no, one or two iron breaker. And then done the tiny wee bit of Sakurax bronze, and it gives it that more dynamic look. So that when it's on the table, the light is hitting that spot and just that spot. But just clean the thing, and then we get a wash brush, which is this brush. And I 
Okay, Citadel Shade, non oil. Yeah, perfect. Shake it up. And then let me change the soil. Yeah, that's my brush. Right. So we we'll just take some from the cloth. Uh, the lid and we just brush it on. There's no exact method to brushing on the thing unless you're doing watery effects, which then there is. I'll do that in, in another video. But just overall, you don't. You let it sort of go in the recesses and such but you don't go over the top with it like I'm quite known to do at times and then we we'll stick it like that I've got a special holder for this sort of thing or probably was can wood and just sit it in uh, upright so the shade will go into all the recesses and what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to flip it with it like that so on the underside it goes into all the wee bits where only it wouldn't hit put that away uh, currently that's the rest of the Mark IV squad. One's almost painted with lots of battle damage. That one's in the process and that one hasn't been. But it has got uh, some splash over from both these models. Uh, what else have I got on my desk right now? I've got Guardsman for my Renegades. And just to show technique of OSL Object Source Lighting There's my Renegade Command Squad uh, Plasma Gun with the it actually looks like it's glowing which I'm quite proud of uh, My Renegade Commander who is still a massive work in progress want to strut him down uh, he got some OSL object source lighting, but I'm not that happy with it overall. So I think I could be stripping him, uh, taking the paint off him for those that don't know what stripping means uh, in the modeling terms. There's a normal guardsman, it's a weight. Not all around again, trying to get some white here. Uh, if I go like that. Yeah. It's a normal Renegade Garden. Which I'm quite pleased with him actually. Uh, I'll need to do the highlighting on this guy's gun to the way I'm doing it today. And I think that's almost dry now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and take the excess off. So just so like you're polishing the shoe, you go like that with a, uh, I've got toilet paper that I've been using for years. You just dab, dab away at it. See how much excess wash was on that. Still a lot. Uh, right, so second layer highlights. 
and this will be done again with the highlighting colours. So I've got Iron Breaker to do this next wee bit. And I'm slowly just, yeah, you know, you're gonna have my head in the way here. Fine, very thin line there. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna take some more paint off. A very thin line up the top, which will need to carry on into there and there. Thin line there. Uh, this part of the gun won't get that much white, but like I said, uh, do it. And then what we do now is we do all the thing highlighting here, and this has been 21 minutes for a gun. Um, I only do speed painting for clients. I know how to speed paint, I just don't speed paint when I'm painting my own models because I like to take, take my time and satisfaction out of them. So, here again just like those same very fine line and then a fine line here fine line here do it here as well there should be a fine line there clean the paintbrush Saccharite's bronze again. Now because of wash, what the wash will have done is they'll have dulled down the parts where the Saccharite was. Well that's what it's meant to do anyway. So I'm just going to do a quick bit of Saccharite here. That bit should be more saccharax. Tiny, tiny wee line here. And down. And there you have it. A rotor cannon. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Uh, from a war bears. So. That uh, is my quickie. Well, 23 minutes and a half of doing a rotor cam. Uh, just to let you see what I have been doing recently as well is a Chaos Space Marine. Who was going to be a lord, but he's now going to be the sergeant for the rotor cannon squad uh, plus my gun isn't finished but if you look there that was freehand which I'm quite impressed uh, pleased with that it's him and that was your quick wee video guys thank you Thank you very much.